I wanted to do a real quick video on the Glock 26. Now this is chambered in 9mm and this handgun has been out for quite some time if I'm not mistaken. I think this gun first came out in 1994. Now I have the Gen 5 edition. I just got it here recently and I want to try it out and see how it does. There are a lot of really good small 9mm handguns out there, especially since SIG came out with the P365. There's been just a lot of different companies that have come out with some pretty good handguns. But there are a lot of people who still stick with the Glock 26. And I want to look in this video today about why that is. One of the reasons why a lot of people stick with the Glock 26 is because since it is a double stack 9mm, it can take not only the Glock 26 mags, but it can also take your Glock 19 mags, which hold 15 rounds, or your Glock 17 mags, which hold 17 rounds, or it can take the uh, Glock 19X, which they make a 19 round. Also, you can get Magpul 21 round mags. Uh, you can get the Glock 33 round mags even. And so because of that compatibility and magazines for Glocks are so widely available, and they're a lot less expensive than some of the other brands that are out on the market. Uh, and also, there's a lot of holster compatibility. If you have a holster for a Glock 19, this is the same frame width. So there's just a lot of compatibility. So if you already are into Glocks, there's really no reason not to go with the Glock 26. Now, true, Glock does make a more compact. There is the Glock 43 and the Glock 43X which is a single stack, but you have, again, more capacity available to you if you use some of the extended magazines. Now, there are aftermarket companies that make 15-round mags for the Glock 43X, but anyway, that's besides the point. My point is simply that you have a lot of compatibility so that you don't have to buy an extra holster. So that is just some of the reasons why, in my opinion, the Glock 26 is still a very relevant option today and what I want to do first is to just take a few shots and show how manageable the recoil is so let's try it out a few times and see how it does I'm going to take a few shots that are still targeted setting about 15 yards or so away uh, but before I do I want to point out that it is really important to get a good grip on your firearm because if you don't the muzzle of the gun it's going to pop up like dandelions after you mow but anyway, I'm going to take a few shots and uh, I want you to notice how controllable the Glock 26 is. As you can see, there was not much muzzle rise at all. Uh, we might take a few shots at several different distances and just see uh, how accurate the gun is. I'm back now at maybe 20 yards away. We're gonna take a few shots and see how we do. Not too bad. Let's step back a little bit farther. All right, now we're maybe about 30 yards or so away. Not bad. All right, now I wanna take a few shots at some of the smaller targets got set up. Again, this thing is really accurate. Uh, it's a lot more accurate than what I am. All right, let's go ahead and try to do a mag dump. I've got a 10 round mag in here and we're going to see if we can put all 10 rounds on the steel. As you can see, the gun is really easy to control. All right, well, there you have it. Nothing fancy, not a long video, but I just wanted to point out a few of the things that I like about the Glock 26 and why I believe it's still a good option today, even after all these years since it first came out. 
I know that there are a lot of good handguns that are out there on the market. And by all means, if you shoot something better or if something fits your hand better, I'm not here to convince you that this is what you need to use. I'm just saying that there are good reasons why this is still a good option. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, I ask that you would please do so. And also hit that like button. It'll help the YouTube algorithm to push out this video to other people. Thank you for watching and God bless you.